Friends in the Mess. visit the island while the state continues to try to control its ongoing COVID outbreak. I guess aloha means a third thing now. Stay the fuck away! <laughs> the Academy of Television Arts has officially rescinded former Governor Andrew Cuomo's Emmy, which he earned for his televised COVID updates earlier this year. The organization cited the flurry of sexual assault allegations against Mr. Cuomo, stating he simply doesn't have enough of them to be worthy of an Emmy at this time. <laughs> CIA Director William Burns apparently held a secret meeting with Taliban leader Abdulghani Baradar in order to discuss the ongoing situation in the region. And remember everyone, it was a secret meeting, so don't tell anyone. <laughs> in Watertown, a bit of local news, a father and his two sons have been charged with fraud after cashing in around $21 million in fraudulent lottery tickets. The three have posted bail but opted to remain in police custody so that, quote, Mom doesn't fucking kill us. <laughs> a Massachusetts company is recalling over 52,000 pounds of chicken salad over concerns of contamination due to plastic debris. Another win for ham salad! <laughs> <laughs> Lance Barr, the man who designed the iconic Nintendo and Super Nintendo consoles, has finally left the company after almost 40 years. Well, he may say he's not working anymore, but if I know my Nintendo, a quick <laughs> it'll be back in working order in no time. Deco, a penguin at the New England Aquarium, has just turned 40 years old. Most penguins only live about 10 to 15 years in the wild. When asked what her secret was, the penguin responded, a little red wine, some dark chocolate, and eating twice my body weight in mackerel a day. <laughs> well, the adult man whose naked baby portrait was made famous as a Nirvana album cover has filed a lawsuit against the band, alleging sexual exploitation. The man claims that the contract is invalid because it was signed while he was still in utero. <laughs> of an offshore wind farm near Nantucket. To be fair, the plan was to build the windmills directly on top of the whale's blowholes. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling Stones drummer Charlie Watts passed away this week at the age of 80. Watts will certainly be missed, but still no word on whether he plans to follow the example of bandmate Keith Richards and continue to tour with the band post-mortem. <laughs> 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 walking 2.2 miles while balancing a baseball bat on his chin. You may be asking why we're spending time on this story, but this is a big fucking deal for Idaho! <laughs> this man walked 2.2 miles with a baseball bat on his chin? On his fucking chin in Idaho! Jesus Christ! <laughs> state news. In Kentucky, a racehorse bucked its jockey, escaped the racetrack, and ran wild down the interstate, living up to its name, Bold and Bossy. When asked for comment, the horse's jockey remarked, well, I'll be fine. I'm just glad we didn't name him Big and Horny. <laughs> Jokes on him, though, all they found was 620,000 unsolicited dick pics. <laughs> well, a salmonella outbreak has spread to 17 states now. It's been linked to the consumption of salami, prosciutto, and other cured Italian meats. <laughs> Another win for ham salad! <laughs> Finds that people living a couch potato life 
lifestyle are seven times more likely to suffer a stroke. But if they're anything like the couch potatoes I know, they're already stroking multiple times a day. <laughs> In a turn of events, the website OnlyFans has reversed its decision to ban explicit content across the platform. Content creators were initially outraged, but now admit it's pretty on brand for, for, on brand for OnlyFans to get a bunch of people all hot and bothered and then uh, abruptly relieve them. <laughs> That little middle school news. An eighth grade physics class has just set out to exonerate Elizabeth Johnson Jr., the only woman to have not been pardoned for their conviction during the Salem witch trials. It only took three centuries, but by golly, those preteens did it! Here to join us is Elizabeth Johnson Jr. done to you and sort of justice and perpetrated, it'd be nice to finally be you know, relieved of that uh, accusation. You would think that, um, but being convicted of a, being a witch was honestly the most exciting thing that ever happened to me. Um, I don't know if, if you personally know, Will, what it's like to be a Puritan woman in Massachusetts in 1692. Uh, uh, I can't say that I do. Okay. <laughs> choose from every day. Uh, the first one was sweeping my dirt floor. <laughs> Do you know what's under a dirt floor? <laughs> yes, more dirt is under there, right? Um, and then, oh, oh, if I want to relax a little bit, I could read a book. Um, but we only have one book in my house, and it's the Bible, and I can't read because I'm a woman in 1692. <laughs> so that's a no-go. And then, so most of my day, I spend just taking a wooden dowel kind of jamming it into a bucket full of milk until the milk solidifies. <laughs> and that can take like three hours and there's nothing else to do, there's nothing to listen to, there's only Martha to talk to, so. Who's, who's Martha? <laughs> She's a corn husk that I drew eyes on. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, I mean, certainly things have to be brighter nowadays. I mean, more things you can do. Oh, oh yeah, I mean, being a witch is great now. I mean, honestly, I, I love being the only witch on record right now. Like, I am in history as the witch, and you know what? Witches are cool now, okay? <laughs> you don't see them trying to drown witches anymore. They don't, I don't know, take a urine sample from a witch and mix it with some rye flour and bake it into a little cake that they feed to a dog and then if the dog dies, you're a witch. I don't know, that doesn't happen anymore, but you know what does happen? Um, have you seen any shows from the 2000s on the WB? <laughs> so we've got that, and then basically like, every sleepover party from the 90s, and everybody's pulling out a Ouija board, and we, we've got groups of girls now who are going out under a blood mood, and they're naked, and they're putting a curse on the moon, and you know who they're putting that curse on in the name of? The only witch left in history to not be exonerated. That's me. I am somebody. Well, I, don't think, I don't think these kids are trying to take that away from you. I just think they're, you know, trying to right it wrong. And I know, I know. Honestly, the kids, it's not their fault. And, and I appreciate the hard work. But, like, if you want to expunge my record for something, maybe we could start with, like, I don't know, my DUIs or something. Put the effort somewhere helpful. Great, great. Thank you very much. Emily Johnson Jr., everyone. to pay volunteers to spend a year pretending to live on Mars. This will be a crucial step towards NASA's next big mission, pretending to go to Mars. <laughs> In medical news, a Portuguese woman was found to be lactating out of her armpit, giving a whole new meaning to the term side boob. <laughs> Coca-Cola plant in North
Northampton, Massachusetts, has been caught dumping waste liquids, described to have a yellow color and a sweet, ripe odor into the Connecticut River. If you ask me, it sounds like that Coca-Cola plant needs to drink more water. <laughs> into a river while the two were fighting. Oh. Don't worry, don't worry. The situation ended okay, the cat was rescued, and the ex-boyfriend finally learned how to make a pussy wet. Oh. <laughs> Baseball is terminating its 70-year partnership with Topps, their longtime baseball card manufacturer. The organization cited declining sales, likely linked to many of their 70-year-old customers terminating their partnerships with life. <laughs> Another win for ham salad! <laughs> Thank you, everyone! I can move!